Okay, so here we go. I'm going to be giving a quick tutorial here on how to download a FASTA file and read it in Python. So what I'm going to be using here is PyCharm. It's an environment uh, that's offered for free uh, for these types of purposes. So if you want to download it or use whatever you'd like, it's up to you. It does not matter. Uh, the, the website that I'm going to be getting the uh, FASTA file from is going to be the Ensemble website. So the Ensemble website, it's pretty good. It's, it's my favorite one. If I can get the information off it, I will. Uh, so I click the download DNA sequence right here in the Homo sapiens area, and it'll shoot you to where you can click on whatever chromosome you want to you wanna do your, your work on. So I'm going to go ahead and click on chromosome 20 here, and it's going to go ahead and download a zipped file. So real quick on this zip file thing uh, if you don't know how to download the zip file or I mean read the zip file <laughs> if you don't know how to read a zip file this is the wrong tutorial for you uh, you're gonna have to work on that pause this and uh, come back when you're done because you need to unzip that file and put it into your project area it's just gonna be easier it doesn't have to go into your project area but it's going to require a little bit more work if you don't have it in your project area. I renamed mine to CH20 um, just so that it's nice and easy. CH20.FA to be exact. Uh, and the FA means fast A and the GZ means these are all zipped. So you can't just delete the GZ at, off the end of it. That's not unzipping it. You need to unzip the file and move that FA file into your into your project area so if it if it's not unzipped properly it will not work and we're gonna go ahead and start this by hitting new and Python file I'm just gonna name this test real quick and it should save as a Python file or dot py and let's just look at the other FTP websites real quick just so you know where you, you can get your uh, FASTA files from uh, you can use the NCBI FTP website, or you can use the UCSC uh, Golden Path FTP website. These have FT, uh, FASTA files, FASTQ files in them, which can be read the same way. But if you download a bed file or a different type of compressed file, uh, there's th this will not work for those types of files. Those are also bigger files. This just is really going to work for FASTA and uh, FASTQ files. So. Here we go. The, uh, the way we're going to read it is by typing in. First, we've got to create a variable. So the variable that we're going to type is going to be CH20 for chromosome 20. And then nice little equal sign. And then open. What did I name it? Oh, yeah. CH20.FA. And there we go. That's we're halfway there basically, because the only other thing we really need to do is make a read file for it. So first we got to open it, then we got to read it, and then we got to print it to the screen. So get this out of my way. What is this doing? 